Throughout 2023, a number of agricultural groups in Alabama are observing the Down to Earth program. This is a year-long program that's designed to tell the general public about what farmers do to protect the environment. Today, we're in Macon County with Brian Agnew, a forester here. Brian, thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. So tell us about your operation. I am a timber consultant private for, for private landowners. I do a little bit of public work, but not much. Uh, my job is to uh, do what's best for the landowners ec ecologically, environmentally, uh, wildlife, and all those aspects. But number one for the most landowners is timber production. I manage their timbers. All right, so do you participate in any voluntary cons conservation programs? My landowners do. Most of them are members of either the Treasure Forest Association uh, program or they're in the uh, tree farm program. And mo some are in both, some are either one or the other. Can you tell us a little bit about those programs? The Treasure Forest program was started years ago by the former head of the Forestry Commission, Bill Moody, and his goal was to recognize landowners for their stewardship of, of their lands. And it's turned into a tremendous program. It's maintained by the Alabama For Farmers Federation. Uh, it uh, deals, it, it recognizes timber production, recreation, aesthetics, the environment, resources, and there's an acronym for all that, but that's the main goals of the, of the program. Tree farm system is a little bit different in that it, uh, it has an advantage to some landowners that if they are within that tree farm system, certain uh, mills will actually pay them a grunt more for their timber if it's in that program. Well, among all the uh, landowners that you deal with, what type of natural resources do they have on their property? Obviously timber, and then the wildlife that's out there, and, and grasses and, and all the other things, bushes that they want to enhance and continue to grow. And, and water quality is a big part of what they're trying to do, and that goes back to our business as foresters, is to maintain water quality in a timber harvest situation. And how do you go about protecting those uh, resources? When you set up a timber sale on a private landowner, for example, this pond right here would be perfect. We, we want to maintain a distance from any water body of water. And this right here, she decided to thin this area here to pr provide protection for the water and, of course, for herself, the privacy that exists. In a, uh, away from the, the, uh, a pond, you want to maintain the streams, which means taking painting a boundary line on either side of a stream to make sure that no timber is harvested that would uh, and, uh, degrade the water quality that, around that stream. Okay, let's talk just a little bit about wildlife. What type of wildlife does, do these areas attract and, and how does it attract them? Well, food plots is one of the biggest things and if you harvest timber, the, it changes the ecology of a piece of property and would make certain uh, uh, trees, bushes grow up in, in a stand and a lot of folks will fertilize those areas to to enhance the food for deer and turkey especially and then somewhat the birds and, and quail. So this timber that we're standing in now is commercial timber. How do you go about harvesting that? That's contract with a, a private uh, harvesting firm, a timber dealer of some sort who would sub subcontract it out for the most part to a, a logger that would uh, harvest it for them and eventually essentially for us. And I'm sure there are best management practices that go along with that to protect the environment. Absolutely. Every contract that I have has noted of the best management practices as stated by the state of Alabama and, and these loggers and, and dealers are, are required to adhere to those practices. All right, great. Brian Agnew from Macon County, thank you so much for talking with us today. If you have a question for an Alabama farmer, send it to askafarmer at simplysoutherntv.net. Stacy Little is up next on Simply Southern. He's making a sheet pan, brown sugar garlic, pork loin filet. It's a long name, but just like all of Stacy's dishes, comes together in a snap. What we eat, what we wear, it all starts somewhere. And if it's good, it usually starts with a farmer. And that somewhere is right here in Alabama. In a field, in a barn, on a tractor. Right now, there's a farmer starting something good for all of us. And it all starts right here in Alabama. 
There's no such thing as downtime when you own a farm. This is your land. You tend it and try to get the most from it, no matter the weather or time of day. It's been that way for generations. And for generations, your local quality co-op store has been there for you, with a full range of agriculture supplies and services, from feed to fertilizer, seed to grain storage, and the right hardware for any application. You'll always find what you need, plus friendly, knowledgeable advice at your local quality co-op store. There's one near you. Want in-depth and up-to-date information about agriculture and forestry in Alabama? Then tune in to the Alabama AgCast, a production of the Alabama Farmers Federation. New Alabama AgCast episodes drop every Wednesday. Listen to learn about a range of topics, from farm programs and trade to animal nutrition and pest management. Just search for Alabama AgCast on your favorite podcast provider or visit alphafarmers.org slash alabama Support healthy food from local farmers by purchasing a Farming Feeds Alabama license plate. The TAG Fund's education and promotion efforts, including Ag in the Classroom, agricultural scholarships, and youth programs. Get your Ag Tag today. For more Simply Southern, follow us on social media. And while you're online, visit our website, simplysoutherntv.net. Simply Southern continues in a moment. Sweetcorn Alabama, we just saw it as such an amazing platform to be able to market for farmers and small Alabama businesses. Being a niche producer, a commercial mushroom laboratory, um, it's very important that we kind of get the word out about who we are, and Sweet Grown has been monumental in helping us do that. I think just support your local community, your neighbor. That's the backbone. Discover what's growing in your neck of the woods at sweetgrownalabama.org. 